how much one prepares, the first patient is always something very special. You know, at the end of the day, you're dealing with somebody who has been blind. It's taken a very long time to get to this first step in patients. So we have an amazing team of investigators, ranging from basic scientists to retinal surgeons here at USC and at our collaborating institutions, UC Santa Barbara, City of Hope, and Caltech. I think the major reason that we were funded by CERN is that we were a highly integrative, multidisciplinary team of investigators that was studying a disease that had a great unmet need. Our contribution at UC Santa Barbara was to make the cell that you need from a stem cell. This has been talked about for months, years now, and it took all this great diligence on the part of guys like these two guys to build a program to do the science. This is their first step. This is the first step for all patients who will presumably one day have an implant like this and who will hopefully recover some vision or preserve vision that they have. During this procedure, since it's the first of its kind in the world, it's always an anxious time no matter how much you've prepared. I think in this particular surgery one has to be very diligent about separating the retina so we can get that pocket so we can put that sheet of cells underneath and that's really the critical part of this procedure. Then, hopefully, we can also start to get an idea of how effective this implant is in these patients with macular degeneration.